Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today. Today, I'm going to be installing a backup camera on this vehicle. So, you'll see you have this harness. Uh, if it has ground on it too, I would suggest uh, you ground the camera back at the back of the vehicle. You always want to get the ground to the immediate. But what you want to do is hurt the power of the camera up if you want to the power on here. And that's going to be easy enough because once you do that, you'll see it sits right like so, just in your red, your switched accessory. That way the camera isn't always on. If you wire it to the yellow, then the camera will always have power. You want it on switched accessory. Uh, after you got that wired up there, we need to pass the wire down to the dash. You'll see a hole right here. Just stuff it down there, reach around from the bottom and grab it. And then I'll show you where to go through in the floor pan to get down below. So as you can see here, this is for my reverse wire. I soldered this onto that purple and white wire, which is usually what color it is for reverse on the back of a deck. And then I have my RCA with the power wire down there. Um, this one, I'm going to try and see if I can snag the reverse wire in the cab here. If I t find out where it is in here, I'm going to do a quick search. If not, I'm just going to run it to the back and run it to the reverse light. That's the easiest way usually to do this without spending a whole lot of time. And you're already running this to the back of the truck anyway. Running this backup camera, all you got to do is remove this. And it might try to connect to here. We'll see if we can disconnect it. Yes, we can. Now, we can disconnect this one, but it's not really needed. What we're looking for is a, a rubber plug. There's usually a rubber plug that goes under these carpets, so that way if you ever get a flood or anything, you can empty it out. And what we do is we look for that rubber plug, and we shoot our wire down that rubber plug so it goes below the vehicle you can do it another way by going under the vehicle and taking a quick look but usually it's in this footwell if you have a floor mat take it out this pop it out after you do that there's the plug so what we're going to do is we're going to be running this wire underneath here and we're going to tie it up here and then run it under the carpet and we're going to pop this bad boy out what you're going to do is going to make a slit in this. And when you make a slit in that, then we can pass the wires through. If you look under here, right here, right under the steering wheel, you'll see two little claws that come down. I threw the wire up over there. And then right by the grommet that goes under the hood, there is a, uh, you can sort of see it there. And I just zap strapped it there. And that way I can bring it down the back side of the carpet here. Now, if there is going to be a wire, for us to tap into for reverse. It'll be right here and it'll be going to the rear of the vehicle. So I'm gonna quickly check and see if there is a reverse wire in this driver's side kick panel. See this top plug right here? Well, that top plug, and if you look, top plug, bottom, top plug, bottom wire right here is black and pink. That black and pink wire is the reverse wire. So wire your blue or whatever color wire you have going from the reverse wire from the deck right to here, and then hook it up. After you hook it up, make sure when you shift it to reverse and back that the backup camera kicks in. Watch this. Reverse. No video signal because we haven't hooked up the camera yet. Perfect, solder that, tape it, and let's uh, get that camera wire to the rear. Want the simplest way ever to do this, cut your grommet all the way to the center like this. Next thing you're gonna do, go down here, run your camera wire down the hole, and then when you go to sink this in, make sure that camera wire is right here and the rubber will keep it from being cut by the metal. That'd be good. And if you're really worried about this leaking, which you really don't need to be, but if you are, you can throw a little bit of silicone across here. I haven't put the grommet in yet, but see how it's just coming through there? Then I pass it through up here. I can zap strap it onto this. Come over to here. See this other wiring harness? I can zap strap it here all the way down and it's protected by the frame and bring it up and all the way down the truck body. And you just want to keep it on the inside here. 
As you can see, I'm literally just following the inside of this frame all the way. And if you keep feeling the inside of the frame, you'll feel that wiring harness go all the way to the back. Take this wire if you want, just tuck it in through here and we'll zap strap that. I don't think there's any need to cut open your, I'll leave it up to you. You can either cut a hole behind the camera or just do it like this, but see how those two line up? Pull these two bolts out and tighten your camera on right here. And then we'll do our last little bit of soldering down here. So your camera's mounted, it's hanging here. Tape these two together. You'll see red goes to red. I'm gonna tape that up in a sec. And then right here, this big white wire coming off of the trailer harness, that's a ground. So you can solder it onto there. Or what you do is you clean off this with a piece of sandpaper till it's dull metal. And then you put a ringlet on the end so you can screw it onto here and you spray paint it black. Uh, so that way it does not rust. So for right now though, 99% of people on these trucks, I believe from what I've seen, have a trailer adapt on. So might as well just throw it on. So we've got a ground going there. Our power is nicely looped right there. And then now we have this extra, we'll bundle this up with zap straps after. But first, let's go ahead and go try out our backup camera. So, brake, reverse. Well, that was neutral. There's a reverse. Ah, oh, perfect. And look, it's right side up. So now if you want to, you can aim that down a little bit more. Um, you would just make sure your parking brake is on. Some of them have a set screw or you just grab it, see? Just move it a little bit down like that. And if you want to, ha, huh, see? Now you see this. So you can actually see the bottom of your bumper and you can see how close it is. That's what I would do. And then of course, make sure when you put your foot on it, put it out, oh, look at that. And of course, now it wants me to set up a Bluetooth device. That's how easy it is to do a backup camera in this vehicle. I would suggest now going underneath and just putting in some zap straps. That's all there is to it. Quick little thing too, if your camera's upside down, settings, you would go to general. And if you scroll down, you'll see backup camera. Whoop, I just actually passed by it. Uh, rear view camera here. It's normal for me because it was working. If yours is upside down, hit reverse. That will fix it. Uh, and of course you can turn it off if you get sick of it. Uh, the other thing is if you leave demo mode on, you can do that. So you just have to look for that setting inside your stereo and of course do your Bluetooth and everything. If you have a Sony, you actually have to um, go into the Bluetooth audio and then set it up that way. Um, with the pairing settings, it's not like other decks where you can just automatically connect into it. But yeah, now that uh, it's all ready to go, you can go in, change your tunes, change your music, have some fun. And then again, I did this for my buddy Johnny here, hey where if you're in Chilliwack, come and check out this pizza joint. It's literally like being in Italy. And the cheese, everything, it's really good stuff. Either way, take a look, have some fun, Thanks again for watching. Like the video if it helped you out and subscribe for more.